Today, I'm reacting to a highly requested episode of America's Next Top Model. It's season 15, episode 8. Everybody's been writing in my comments, Jessica, you need to take a look at this episode. The girls have to do a roller skating commercial and then at the end have to let a guy kiss them. There is a trigger warning for this episode. There are talks of SA that may be difficult for some people to watch. So I will have a, t if you still want to watch it and not watch that part, I will have a screen right before and then a time step you can skip to. So let's take a look, shall we? For your commercial today, it's for H to T, beauty and energy water. Jay did tell you that you'd be running. What, where was this water when I was growing up? I got to look at that label one more time. H to T. For H to T. H to T. Let's see this. It looks like M&M's. <laughs> The actual product itself is looking a little, looking a little musty. Jay did tell you that you'd be roller skating and kissing boys in this commercial, correct? What? No. We're going to be on skate. No, I don't think, I'm not sure that he did, sir. So they're going to be roller skating and kissing boys for the beauty and energy water. Okay, that's a, I want to talk to whoever developed that. Who thought of that concept? That's what I want to know. What? We're going to be on skates. Being tall on roller skates is not a very good combination. A little nervous. Like we really kiss them? We want to have a moment. Do you know what I mean? That no. sexual charged tension moment. I wasn't totally thrilled that we'd be joining in a kiss. I instantly was not happy at all. You, guys you know what's interesting about this season too? Because I watched a few photo shoots from this season. It seems like they bring in the guys a lot. They, they did the... Uh, falling fallen angels photo shoot right and then they had the guys come in for that photo shoot too so it seems like they're including guys in a lot of these photo shoots for this cycle why their response to it says it all the models were like what they didn't seem excited about it one of the models was kayla was saying hey i don't like this concept i mean you already have people before it even starts telling you they don't even like this concept that should tell you everything you need to know no <laughs> i'm practicing come here <laughs> Okay, we gotta practice. She is okay. not excited about this at all. Hold on. Who, who would be? Seriously. Look at this frame right here. She obviously looks withdrawn. She's not happy about this. How can you, how is it okay to let a model continue when she's reacting like this to a, a, a commercial concept? It's just not right to me. I don't know. I just can't. Like, if I saw someone like this, I'd be like, hey, listen, you don't gotta do it. I just can't get this whole kiss thing out of my head. It was deeper to me than just being gay. I feel personally uncomfortable with intimacy with men. And that, that, should, that, that should be the end of it. She doesn't even have to give an explanation. If she doesn't want to do it, she doesn't want to do it. I just wanted to, you can, no, you can leave your hair like that. Oh. I just wanted to talk to you. Mr. J just knew something was wrong. You're cool with this though, right? You're not cool with it. Why does it bother you? When I was 11, I um, was sexually assaulted. And this whole challenge freaks me out. I don't want to kiss them. I don't want to interact with them. They scare me, and I really don't want to do it. Oh, my God. If they make her do this, like, I... Oh. So she's telling them she doesn't want to do it, that she has trauma from when she was younger, if they continue with this, it would be so wrong. It would be so wrong. And it's so sad to hear that she went through this. Just her reaction to it. This poor girl, I really just want to hug her. You can get another model for these projects. There are, again, remember, there are models who don't mind doing this type of thing. Oh, kissing a stranger or photo shoot with a guy or a girl. They're okay with it. Some models, they're not okay with it. And we just have... That's it. And people have boundaries and that's totally normal. We are Who are we to be like, no, she should be able to do this because she wants to model, because she wants to do this. That's To me, that's not right. So it, if I were there, it would have been the end of the discussion. The second she, that she said, I'm uncomfortable, I would have been like, no problem. Don't even have to do this. This whole challenge freaks me out. I don't want to kiss them. I don't want to interact with them. They scare me. For me, like the kiss with a man freaked me out and it just like flashed back like a memory in my head. First of all, I'm really sorry to hear that. I mean, that's horrible to go through. To be honest, in the real world, if I had to like just really 
full-fledged go at it and kiss a guy, I probably wouldn't even want the job just because, like, I've never talked to any anybody about it, you know, not even my mom. I just dealt with it on my own. Just your, no one knows in your family? Nobody. Not one family member knows, not one friend knows. So to just say it right then and there on Venice Beach, like, 20 minutes before I'm about to deliver a commercial was so, so hard. I can't believe that. She told Mr. J she hasn't even told a family member about this. So just the fact that she has the courage to confide in Mr. J, I really hope he takes this and he does what's right, and that is not make her do this. You know, the f it takes a lot of courage to be able to, and she's on camera too. She's literally on the show telling this for the first time. The thing is, she can still do the commercial. She can still do the roller skating and advertise the product. She just doesn't want to kiss the guy, which to me, like, okay, that's not a big deal. She, most of the commercial is the, about the, what is it, the beauty water. So what does it matter? She doesn't have to kiss the guy. Going through something like that at such a young age and not really having the support structure and the help around, you really haven't healed from it. Yeah. And there's still work that has to be done there. Because right now, as you're, you're talking about therapy, it's like if you're t saying to me right now, you'll throw away jobs if you've got to kiss a guy, and you can't go through the rest of your life with this. You really can't. You have to deal with this. Okay. I let it all out, and he just had a way of bringing me back. And now I need to get together for myself so I can be everything that I want to be in modeling. I hate that the first time that she had to talk about it was with cameras rolling, thinking she had a private moment with Mr. J when it was being filmed. Did she know that they, they were filming her when she had that private chat? Who knows? Kayla, if I were there, just know the second you told me you're, you're uncomfortable, I would have just stopped it. There's no continuing. I don't even need you to tell me anything. You don't have to get personal. Just you saying I'm uncomfortable, should have that that is enough for me. And that should have been enough for America's Next Top Model. Guys, we get the extras in and we can clear set down there. So you're going to start, you're going to hear the music. I'm going to shout action, say your first line, have your sip of water, get up, then deliver. That's why I drink h t water around here. Get down there, turn around. That's a lot. High five comes in here. Don't forget, key shot. Don't shot, forget. h t water. Feel beautiful inside and out. Rock that line, okay? I don't remember any of that. Could you, just, could you go through that one more time real quick? <laughs> That was, how can, how can you present all of that like five, five seconds before? He's like, okay, go here. You're going to do a backspin and then you're going to flip over here and then you're going to propel down a zip line and then you're going to climb up a ladder and then go through a helicopter and then you're going to skydive down here and then you're going to take a sip and say H to T. I'm beautiful now. <laughs> That's what I, I'm just like, like can I, I don't even know how to skate. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Having these memories and like, I know you're supposed to check your emotions at the door, but I'm human. So, like, lots of fun, lots of energy here. Okay. okay. Why is that guy there? Why is he, why, he, she, she literally just told you she's uncomfortable. Just to even, you don't even have to have this guy here. Okay, fine, fine. Let's have the guy there, but she's not, they're not going to make her kiss him, right? Looking good on the outside starts with feeling good on the inside. H to T keeps me feeling energized from head to toe. <laughs> oh. No. Don't tell me they're going to make her kiss him. She had a private conversation, how she doesn't want to do this, how she's uncomfortable around men or around being intimate with men. This to me is pretty intimate, being like literally like a few inches away from some That's That's pretty intimate to me. I wouldn't go up to someone that, that I don't even know and do that. The fact that they're just making her do that that's that to me is wrong. They shouldn't have made her do that. Um, um, I and when you feel great on the inside. And when you feel great on the inside, you always feel beautiful on the outside. <laughs> Kayla really impressed me today. The irony of these lines. When you feel great on the inside, you what? Are you after what after what she's been through after what you know she's been through and you're in the worst part is these line the script when you feel good on the inside then you feel good on that she does I'm pretty sure she's not feeling good on the inside or the outside right now because of what you guys are making her do which she clearly said that she's uncomfortable with and why is the drink red now or pink 
Where? Who's taking these product shots? This is not, things are not adding up right now. Who wrote the script? And why do we need to drink beauty water? Are, are you trying to say all of us are ugly and we need beauty water? The energy I understand because, you know, these days, things are things are rough out here <laughs> these days. But at the same time, I, if I want to be ugly, let me be ugly. God damn it. <laughs> Look at Mr. J, and then he kisses Kayla her. Really impressed me today okay, because I mean, to maybe the his... model didn't even know. Like that's not his fault. This is. I don't even know what to say, you guys. Leave your thoughts in the comments because. I don't know. I'm. I'm I don't even know what to say. To be honest with you. Kayla really impressed me today because she found a way to push aside, you know, some painful memories. Some pain. She. To push aside some painful memories. Habibi, you don't even, I don't even know what to say to you right now. Shoot, shoot painful memories. It's not painful memory, it's assault. It's like just, you know, some memories that weren't that pleasant. No, it's, she was assaulted. She was literally assaulted. I'm pretty sure that's not something someone can just push aside. The only painful memory I have is this show. I'm not even nervous because I had memorized my lines like completely. So I'm very confident in what we're about to do. With seven key ingredients, including acai berries, guarana, and chromium. These, no, they're not making them say the ingredients list. While roller skating? Come on. In, the, in direct sunlight? That, that's noon light for sure. Those are, that, those are some harsh rays right there. I'm, I would be melting. Uh, <laughs> Liz was extremely disappointing for me. It's as if she didn't take any of it seriously. She would laugh. She'd say the line and laugh. Yeah, Mess it's it a, yeah, it's funny. Laugh. You're even more beautiful. Than you. <laughs> Do you know how much it costs to put on a TV commercial? Hundreds no, I've never seen this commercial. So can you, hundreds of hundreds of thousands of dollars, Nigel? I never aired anywhere. He's he's making it seem like this is a whole production. This is for the show. Come on, let's not let's not exaggerate the truth here. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Mm. And no one finds it amusing when the light is going down and you are laughing. I certainly don't find it funny. Well, I did. So thank you, Liz. But it is a fake commercial, though, so you can't really be mad at her. That's all. Nigel got heated there for a moment. He's like, how dare you? You know that this is never going to air. And we're really just, this is just for the show. But you, and this cost us probably $200. We got Jimmy out here. He was on his tricycle on the boardwalk. And we got him to come and film this. And you're not taking it seriously? I don't appreciate you making a mockery of our mockery. Because we did it first. And we won't let you have the last mockery. Having fun, Esther. Having fun. Have fun, Esther. That's having fun. A couple little bobs on the chair. Like, have fun. So I'm like yelling from back there, have fun, and you're giving me this. You can't even have fun the wrong way on this show. God forbid. What if that's her way of having fun? No, it's not acceptable. You can't. You need to be smashing the H to T on your forehead, cracking it open, drinking straight from the, the middle of the bottle, maybe not recycling afterwards, spice things up. Looking great starts from the inside out. That's why I drink H to T water. I have never seen someone deliver a performance that was so under energized and so flat. And looking beautiful. And looking beautiful from the top. Total, as Andre Leontali would say, directitude. Hey guys, make me proud, please. This is this is a mess. You, these women are not actresses. There's so much emphasis on having fun that it's no longer fun. The last time I roller skated was sixth grade. Um, I don't know what's more embarrassing, falling down then. Now it's falling down in front of Nigel and Mr. J. With seven king. Oh my God. What if they can't skate? With, including seven in, with seven key ingredients, including a five berries, guana, and chromium. HT keeps me feeling healthy and Who's young. gonna know what chromium is? Who's gonna, who's gonna watch this commercial i'll say that lightly and be like yes chromium i'm definitely yes a key ingredient mom let's get this for for stacy's birthday party we need yeah i love chromium tastes delicious 
it's obvious to me that these are things added into the script to make the delivery of it much more difficult because having easier words to say, it's just too easy, too easy for them, right? If I ever talk to Mr. J, first question I ask, what's chromium? Do an interview. Uh, hi, Mr. J, nice to meet you. What's chromium? And are you ready? What's bothering you so much? I'm just embarrassing myself, like falling down or something. You've heard the judges love you week after week. All right, so I want you to hear all the positive. All right. I'm just worried that I'm gonna either crash into the dirt or uh, crash into a camera person. There are a lot of people around, they're gonna laugh. It's something I've had to deal with my whole life because I'm tall. I really don't know if I can do this. Action. This is really sad. I mean, you could tell that the, some of these girls just don't like these concepts. This is something that Anne is insecure about. Who are we to question? Who are we to say, no, she should be, she should just do it. She should get over this. Action. Looking great on the outside starts with feeling good on the inside. You can tell she's not comfortable. She... That's why I drank H. I am so sorry. Would you be feeling more comfortable? It's just water. I thought there was chromium in there. She's like, just water. She could have really hurt herself there. She fell pretty hard. That would... Why are you putting her in this situation? Like, why are you putting the girls in these situations? They're clearly... They clearly don't want to be part of. You have people who are telling you, I don't want to be involved in this. And then you're like, I'm going to involve you in this. You're great for this. Actually, you're perfect for this job. Would you be feel more comfortable if you had pads on? Everybody's expecting a lot of me. So I start to psych myself out and I get mad at myself because I'm psyching myself out. So it makes it even worse. Would it, would it be better if you had pads on? It would be better if she had sneakers on. It would be better if she didn't have the roller skates on. That's the whole problem. He's like, would you like some uh, knee pads for when you fall again? Just give the girl sneakers, dude. The problem are the roller skates here. Khalas is too late. They want to be foolish. That's why. That's why I drink. You can do this. Y okay. She can do this with sneakers on. Haram, dude. Let her. Anne's biggest. You're making her do it 20 times. She clearly is struggling. She's clearly struggling. Just don't. Put the girl in some cracks, dude, and flip-flops. You don't... This is so... I can't believe they're making her redo this. Look at all of these eyes on her right now. Imagine this were you, and you and you kept falling. Any any one of us, any one of us in this situation would be feeling what Anne's feeling right now. We'd be feeling crushed, embarrassed. Anne's biggest issue is... She can't escape. ...of failing and making herself look like a fool in front of people. As no. a result, Anne completely psyched herself out. Let's just say f this commercial is real and they re and they want to get the best commercial out there. Wouldn't you want someone who can roller skate well to deliver these and can memorize lines well, right? Why would you put someone in a position where they're not going to perform their best? It's like you want to do a skydiving commercial with someone who's terrified of heights. You can get any other person who is comfortable with heights that has maybe skydived before. That's what all oh, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Feel beautiful inside and out. Live. That's a wrap, everybody. Wrap on the commercial. That will never air. Well, ever. Anywhere. It makes me a little bit scared because um, even though I've been doing so well, just a couple screw ups could get me sent home. This was all around terrible. There's nothing redeeming about this episode. <laughs> Let's see the judging, I guess. You had to do a commercial for a make-believe product called HPT. So she even says it's make-believe. So where, what was the urgency in this? So there's no beauty water out there, huh? I guess hope is lost for a lot of us. And you were directed by Nigel Barker. And here is your best take. Looking great on the outside starts with feeling good on the inside. With seven key ingredients, including acai berry, guarana, and chromium, h to t keeps me looking young and energized from head to toe. And when you feel great on the inside, you always look beautiful on the outside. You know, this is reminding me of the commercial they did with Melrose and Carrie D. 
in um, in Spain. Does anyone remember that one? I did a reaction video to it because they had to walk through a city just like this. They had to, but they're rollerblading. And then at the end, they ended up being intimate with a guy, like holding onto a guy and then kissing him. So this is like the same thing to me. Isn't that interesting? They always have, the thing I'm getting at is they always have them end the commercial with a guy, like almost kissing him or like having to be intimate with him or close to him. What's going on here? That just, it gave me a flashback to that. I immediately thought of that commercial. And I'll have a link down below if you haven't seen that reaction video. <laughs> Let's see your best take. It's gonna be here laughing. Looking great on the outside starts just feeling good on the inside. That's why I drink H2T water. With seven. <laughs> I told you guys. With seven keys. Why would they add that? Including acai berries, guarana, and chromium. <laughs> and when you feel beautiful on the inside, you feel even better on the inside. My favorite one. Hello, judges. <laughs> She was an absolute and utter mess. And what's more, and irritatingly, you laughed through it, most of it. Didn't Mr. J criticize the models for not having fun? They weren't having fun the right way. This is not fun enough. But here we have Liz, who's clearly laughing, enjoying herself. And then the judges are criticizing her for it. Are you scared of looking foolish? Yeah. The way to get to where you want to go is not blowing it off. What are you thinking now? <laughs> That's my biggest thing is my daughter. I don't want to go home a failure. But everything I do is to make sure I can take care of her and she's happy. That's what you have to use because that's your purity and that's your truth. And that's what's going to make you shine. You almost have an advantage over the girls behind you because you have that extra thing. And it should make you hungrier. It should make you fight. And it should make you take this so seriously. They want the girls to take it seriously, but they themselves didn't even take it seriously. Look how they shot it. It doesn't even look good quality. It was, look at how the camera work. He like, at one point, the cameraman panned down to Liz's legs. Like, what are you even doing? How are you shooting this? Doesn't look like anyone's taking their job seriously. I mean, it's from the beginning. This thing was just a setup. And Liz tried to make it lighthearted. She tried to have fun again, which was so important to everyone. Have fun. Have an enjoyable experience. She did that and now they're mad at her and they made her cry, which is what they want. They This is what they wanted. They wanted to push her until she cracked and felt bad. I don't even blame Liz for not taking it seriously. Look at the design of the bottle. They got M&Ms on there. I'm sorry. And also the typeface. I don't know how much you paid for that, but I hope you have a receipt because you need a refund. Looking great on the outside first begins with feeling good on the inside. With seven key ingredients, including Love acai berries, guana, and chromium, HT water keeps me feeling young and energized from head to toe. And when you feel good on the inside, you always look beautiful on the outside. Amazing. Water. Feel beautiful inside and out. <laughs> well done. She did really well. But again, not everyone can act. I mean, I was going to say put me in front of a camera, but <laughs> I am in front of a camera right now. But I can't act. I can't read a script and make it believable. When you feel great on the outs, when you, when you feel great on the inside, you look great on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I drink H2 water. With seven key ingredients, including a kai berry, guarana, and or... Uh, H2 water keeps me feeling youthful and energetic. And when you feel beautiful on the inside, you look great on the outside. Poor thing. <laughs> I felt as if you were in deep pain even from the moment you stood up mm -hmm. and it showed. Uh, that yeah, because she fell. If you own it, we'd believe it and it would be endearing. But fear is not endearing. I get it. I get it. Overcoming your fears and not being insecure, but... Not everyone has that type of confidence. These girls are, what, 18, 19, 20 years old? At that age, you think I had confidence? The only thing I had, I was confident in was my farm on Harvest Moon. Kayla. Hi, Kayla. <laughs> okay, here it is. H to T. Looking good on the inside starts with feeling good on the outside. With seven ingredients, including asabi berry, garona, and crony. And 
And when you feel beautiful on the outside, you always feel beautiful on the inside. H to T, feel beautiful inside and out. It's, again, it's the same commercial from the one in Spain. Why does the guy need to be there? He doesn't, they could just be, it could be a cute commercial of them just roller skating with the drink. He, they didn't need to have the, the guys there. They added, I'm sorry, but they added nothing. And like, look at the lighting. Who is, who is in charge of the production quality here? This water has an iguana in it, it has a corona in it, and it has some acai berries. What I liked about you physically in this commercial is you looked urban. Like a black girl looking at redhead, white-skinned Kayla could identify with you. No comma. I'm going to leave that one for you guys. Let me know. You know I liked the beginning. I liked your movement. I liked how you looked. And then at the end, it sort of fell apart for me. I felt like you felt extremely uncomfortable with that guy. And you have to make it believable. You have to love humanity. Thank you. You have to love humanity. I think they were trying to get her to open up about this during panel. That's why he made the comment about her feeling uncomfortable with the guy. And then maybe she just didn't respond to it. And that's why she just like she just ended up walking away. You got to love humanity. Great. Great advice. Thank you. I will. Who's who is humanity? Is that one person? Is humanity cats? Because then if so, yes. Looking good on the outside starts with feeling good on the inside. With seven key ingredients, including acai berry, guarana, and chromium, HT makes me feel young and energized from head to toe. And when you feel great on the inside, you'll always look beautiful on the outside. You're telling me you had a full production of. You're telling me you had a full production team, and this is the quality of the commercial that you gave us. No effort whatsoever. Even the camera work, it's, it's sloppy. Like the panning, everything. I'm not even a, really a videographer. Looking good on the outside starts with feeling great on the inside. And that's why I drink H to T water. With seven key ingredients like acai berry, guarana, and chromium, H to T keeps me young and energized. Looking from head to toe. And looking beautiful. And looking beautiful from his head to toe. And, and when you feel good... See, why add that? This is supposed to be a commercial. And remember, Tyra says, let's see your best take. This is supposed to be the best take. And they add in the blooper where she's like, oh, shit, I forgot the line. Why are we, why are you, are we watching this? Why, why did you feel the need to keep that in there? And, and when you feel good on the inside, you always look beautiful on the outside. It's, it's a mess. I, in every way, it was a yeah. mess. Nigel, help us. Yeah, Nobody. Nigel, help, help. Someone should have helped Nigel when he was directing this and, and producing this commercial. She's like, help us, Nigel. No one was helping him. The, the biggest problem is that it really weren't memorable in any way. Nigel has a lot of confidence to pass judgment on these girls' performances. When, I'm sorry, but wasn't he directing this commercial? Isn't his name attached to it? He's in charge of everything? And look at the look at the look at the final outcome. Ter it's terrible. It's like a school project. Someone like Timmy with his uh, his dad's camcorder. You know, they pop in the VHS tape and they start. Actually, that would have been better. Get that retro look to right. The old school film look. Even that would have been better. But we have here. We have just this bland, boring commercial that you shot. But then you want to blame the models. Now it's time for the judges to deliberate. Let's see who had the worst commercial that Nigel shot and was in charge of and did everything for. And first time in top model history, you had best photo five weeks in a row and you should be applauded for that. But I think you know that America's Next Top Model is not just about taking fantastic pictures. It is. Then what is that? <laughs> Isn't that the whole premise of the show? It's a modeling competition where the best picture makes it to the next round and then the worst photo doesn't make it. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I guess I'm wrong. It is about speaking. It's about presenting yourself. And the judges do not think that you are capable of that. And then we have Esther. Esther's whose pictures, not as strong as Anne's. But, but she's good at speaking. Edgy. Interesting and commercial, commercial okay. at the same time. Wow, and that's Esther, a lot. You're a girl that came in here and took 
the note that I said to slick back that hair and the judges saw a whole new you, a different you. And fashion loves versatility, but what fashion doesn't like is blah. This, okay. Can you just, you don't have to do this, Daira. You don't have to do the speech. She's like, I'm going to lower your confidence before you leave the show. The reason why I called your name has something to do with you taking fantastic photos. But the reason why the judges decided you should really stay is because you have an awkwardness that is actually beautiful. And you need to work that. Work with what you are because that is unique and that is special. But, it is, but so it is about the pictures. Okay. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Just keep it. Definitely will not be purchasing H to T literally anywhere. Even if I'm in the desert in the Sahara and all I have is a H to T bottle in my hands, I will not drink it, not take a sip. Overall, I think that they handled the situation with Kayla absolutely wrong. It is, they are wrong for what they did to her. She should never have been put in that position. I don't care if she is a model. I don't care that people think she signed up for this. No one signs up to relive trauma, period. And if someone is uncomfortable doing something, they shouldn't have to do it. I don't care if it's for TV. I don't care if they're a model. You don't want to do something, you shouldn't have to do it, period. 